What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. And if you are not subscribed to the podcast or the YouTube platform, please do hit that subscribe button. For those of you who already are subscribed, I really do appreciate it. And thank you for listening. Thank you so much for liking this commentary. And if you are not subscribed yet, just go ahead, hit that button. And while you're at it, hit that like button because it's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. So let's get into this conversation. I actually meant to speak about this previously, but I'm just now getting a chance to check into it. But Chloe, the singer, formerly, I guess I'll say formally because I don't know if they're still a duo, with her sister Chloe and Hallie, Chloe Bailey, apparently she just released a new album recently and some people are clowning because they're saying that she only sold 10,000 units when it was released. And then there are some people that are blaming her mentor and the owner of the record label that she signed to, Beyonce for not promoting her project. I wanted to talk about this. And first I have to say, I don't listen to any of her music. I I just don't. So I don't know if the music is good or not. So I'm not even here to judge that. I'm also not someone who is in the beehive. I don't consider myself a beehiver. I like some of Beyonce's music and some of it is just not, I'm not a fan of. But more than anything, I would say I'm definitely a supporter of Beyonce's work habits. Being a fellow Virgo, I get it. (laughs) Absolutely, 100% get it. And I often say sometimes that I have the work ethic of Beyonce. I just don't have the money and as many assistants as Beyonce has. Because trust and believe, with all of the things that I have going on, if I had that type of money and access... I wouldn't want her lifestyle. I have no desire to be famous. But if I had that type of access and money to have people to help me to push out the projects and the things that I'm working on to get done, I I would be all here for it because I'm always working. So I get that about her. And I also understand as a Virgo, not really speaking much and and just being very careful and all of those different things, different types of things. So... I relate on that level with Beyonce, but I would not say that I'm someone that is in the beehive. But I wanted to talk about this because she did a performance recently, Chloe, that is. And at the performance, I'm not going to play the audio of it because she was going off. (laughs) Like bleep, bleep, bleep. But she made a comment on the stage and she said, thanks for all the support on the MFing album. F what the F everybody gotta F and say. They can kiss my black bleep because I know you guys love me and this is all I need. Okay, that's what she said. Probably trying to save face because those who were at the show that she was performing at, they have been hearing the rumors and obviously those people who were at the show would be seen as supporters of hers, right? So, yeah, that part. Well, on the other hand, there are a lot of people who are pissed off that Beyonce did not promote her album. They feel that it was something that Beyonce should have done. Why wouldn't she? Because she signed to her independent label, Parkwood Entertainment, and she signed them because she believed in their talent And so some people are just like really going in saying that, I mean, some people are saying that she hates her and didn't do anything for the album, couldn't even give her a feature. And she's not even opening up for her during the tour that she has upcoming, meaning Beyonce's tour. Well, one, how do they know she's not opening up or she won't be at any of the performances because not one show has happened yet. I won't be at any of them because I don't even care <laughs> if I wasn't a beehive. I'm not paying that much to see anybody in concert. I'm not even a big per- a big fan of crowds in that way. So that's just not even my thing. But 
for someone to say that she's not going to be performing or opening up for her during the tour. No one even knows that yet because the tour has not happened yet. The tickets have, you know, been released and they've been selling, but no stop on her tour, meaning Beyonce, has even happened yet. Someone else says, nah, Beyonce could have at least posted Chloe Bailey album on her story. I mean, ain't that your artist? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Another person said Beyonce's nasty for not promoting Chloe's album. A simple IG repost would have probably gave Chloe a top 50 debut. Okay. All right. Here's what I wanted to speak to with regards to that. Yes, she is signed to Beyonce's label. Yes, Beyonce is her mentor. Yes, yes to all of those things, right? I absolutely agree that those are things that she could have done if she chose to do it. It was not a requirement. It wasn't something that Beyonce had to do. And some people may say, well, it didn't make any sense for her not to do it because she signed to her record label. Isn't it in her best interest for Chloe to be successful and, and win and have a lot of sales for her album? But this goes back to something that I have spoken about in the past. And you can go and check out the link to my other YouTube channel where I discuss things about business and beauty and do lifestyle vlogs and and things like that. On this channel, I just like to give commentary about things that are trending news stories, celebrity topics, reality shows, sometimes political things and, you know, things like that sometimes. But I've discussed numbers and how especially in this day and age that we live in when it comes to social media people get caught up in the numbers and the followers that they have and the and those metrics those numbers sometimes the metrics make a difference and sometimes you can count on a certain small percentage of those people to support your things that you have to offer for sale or, you know, whatever it is that you do. But you really can't count on it, especially in the day and age that we live in, especially when it comes to these celebrities, because check this out. Beyonce, yes, indeed. She could have done those things that people said she could have done. But I believe this is Chloe's second album. She's also doing some acting projects. She was in, this is her second solo album, I should say. She was in a group with her sister and they released an album. They had a mixtape. They may have had another album. I don't know. I Again, I don't listen to their music. It's, it's just not my thing. So I don't. But Chloe has 6 million followers on Instagram. So out of the 6 million followers, you mean to tell me only 10,000 people bought the album? Why is that Beyonce's fault? Because if she can show her ass and, you know, show her body off and do the different things that she's been doing on her social media to get the likes and the views, I don't follow her on social media. So anything that I have seen here and there, it's been because somebody else was talking about it. And I may have had conversations to discuss those those types of situations, but she's doing those things for attention when in actuality, her being a singer, if that's what she truly really wants to be, she should be focusing more on her talent and not on her body. And so it just goes to show that she's got 6 million followers on her Instagram account, but she's been garnering the wrong types of attention because Those people could care less, it sounds like to me. They could care less about your talent and your music. So out of the 6 million followers, 10% of those people couldn't purchase the album, download the album. Sounds crazy, but because she's been garnering the wrong types of attention, she could not even bank on her followers to support her project in that way. So if she could not draw the right type of attention to her social media platform by showcasing her talent instead of her tits, then why is it Beyonce's fault 
to say that, well, if Beyonce had promoted her album, then she would have had way more sales. And some people may say, well, Beyonce shows off her body. Well, you know, I even feel like Beyonce shouldn't be doing that. She definitely doesn't have to do that. But I feel like she shouldn't be doing that because it's like you didn't start out that way, but you've gotten to the point where now you're in this older age and now you're doing it. And yeah, we see more people doing that now on social media where it's like, okay, I'm 50 years old. Now I'm going to show you all of my ass <laughs> without anything covering it. And, you know, and people doing the, the naked photo shoots and all that other stuff and showing it off on Instagram. It's, it's something that a lot more people are doing these days. I don't understand it. I'm not saying that you can't feel comfortable and free in your skin and in your body, but that doesn't mean that everybody has to see it. But again, that's what some people are doing these days. So Beyonce is of a, an older age now. So she may be in that group of women that now that they're of an older age and they've had a number of children and they just want to look sexy and feel sexy, that's their way of doing it. And okay, if that's what you want to do, but... She doesn't have to do it, Beyonce that is, and she's doing it because she wants to. And she can put it out there that, yeah, I'm going on tour and tickets are going to be $3,000 and people are clamoring to buy them. She's worked to get to that, that space in her career. It is not Beyonce's responsibility for her to, meaning Chloe, to become successful in that way that she desires to in her music, she really has to put in that work as well. And I'm speaking from a business owner's perspective myself. I own a business. I have employees. Yes, I do pay for and invest in marketing and promotion for my business. And the staff that work in my business, who are also team members that work with clients and, you know, earn profits and, you know, and things like that, they benefit from the investments that I make, but it is also their responsibility to market and promote themselves. It's not really my responsibility for them to make money working in my business. It is a benefit for them to be a part of my business where I have all of the risks and all of the responsibilities are on me because I am the owner of the business. So they don't have to pay for anything when it comes to the business, the products, the, you know, things that they utilize and things that we sell and services and things like that in the business. But if they put in the effort to do more so that they are more known and they market and promote themselves, and yeah, that may definitely take time. It will take time, but it also may require them to use a little bit of their own money and invest in themselves to make more, then that's something that they should be doing. It's not my responsibility to do that. And I'm speaking, I know that a beauty business is not the same thing as a music industry career. I get that. And owning a record label like Beyonce does, but it's not Beyonce's job for Chloe to make sales every time she puts out a musical effort. I mean, my God, they got her to open up the MTV. Uh, was it? What was it? I don't even remember. One of those award shows that they had, I believe it was sometime either last year or the year before that. I believe it was last year. I can't really remember because I don't watch them. But she pulled those ranks, I believe, in my personal opinion, she pulled those ranks to get Chloe to be able to open up and perform. She had her mom, Tina Knowles, in her music video. Like, what more do really people expect of Beyonce to say that, well, if she did this, then this would have happened? Well, maybe not, because if Chloe has 6 million followers and only 10,000 people bought the album, I feel like it's a her problem and not a Beyonce problem or a Beyonce responsibility. And it too could be Beyonce is looking at it like, look, this is an investment that I have made. I'm trying to see if you really have what it takes to continue to be a part of this label. And can you, can you know, can I put you out there to fend for yourself and you will swim instead of sinking? And then if you sink, maybe that means that this isn't a good fit for you. It could be that too. We really don't know what's going through the mind of Beyonce when it comes to this venture that she has in signing Chloe and Hallie to her record label. But 
Chloe, she'll be all right. Okay, she will be all right. But I feel that she should use this opportunity right now to look within herself, see if maybe there's some things that she needs to do differently. Maybe you need to let go of some of those followers, get rid of some of those people that are following you, change it up a bit, do some different things on your social media, see who's really there for you and your talent and who you really are versus those people that are there to oogle and be looky lose to see, well, what is she going to show off today? I mean, seriously, like get an OnlyFans if that's what you want. At least you'll make some money over there, I guess. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I don't believe that it was Beyonce's responsibility to make sure that Chloe's musical effort be successful. Would it have hurt Beyonce to promote it? No, it would not have. But again, we don't know what the thought process was with her not doing so. I believe she does care about her. But this is business. Chloe is not Beyonce's daughter. It's not her daughter. She's not Blue Ivy. Okay. <laughs> so I think people need to remind themselves of that as well. Beyonce has her own children. Chloe is not her child. Chloe is not her daughter. Chloe is not a family member. Chloe is a business decision. That's it. And it's dog eat dog out here in the world anyway. And we already know in Hollywood and in that musical industry, it's a whole other beast. So you guys can let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and do so. Thank you for liking this commentary. Let me know your thoughts. This is Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.